We all know the feeling, scratching that itch. But for some, it can be unbearable. This is the collection I've got here. For months now, James Tressler has been dealing with a chronic itch. It's on my sides, it's on the back, now it's on my thighs, then it's on my uh, calves. Despite blood tests, multiple doctor's visits, different creams, it's unclear what is triggering it. I don't have any dry skin. I don't have any rash marks. There's no redness. My skin looks perfectly healthy. The mystery of what causes that itchy feeling is one that researchers are working to understand. And these bacteria are the ones driving the itch. At Harvard Medical School, some new clues. We were wondering, could certain microbes, when there are too many of them on the skin, actually trigger itch? The answer, yes. Researchers found a common bacteria can invade the skin, releasing an enzyme that activates nerves and sends a signal to the brain to scratch. It shows you that itching is, you know, triggered by the bacteria can be pretty damaging. That finding is prompting more research, including how to potentially block that reaction. I will see patients scratching their skin to the point they're bleeding in my office. One of the most common culprits of itch is eczema. 20% of children and 10% of adults experience the skin condition. But itching can also be a sign of serious problems like liver or kidney disease. And the impact of itch goes far beyond the physical. Things like depression and anxiety have also been linked to um, poorly controlled itching. Of January. As for Trussler, he's trying new medication, but he's still itchy. It may be helping, maybe. And if it is, that's great. Maybe it's just wishful thinking. He hopes that with more research, more solutions are on the way for people like him. Tashana Reed, CBC News, Strathroy, Ontario.